Hi, I'm Russ from Pilates Guy and in this video I'm just going to tell you why I became a Pilates teacher. Um, so I'm 34 now just to give you some perspective. When I was 25 I was in the gym playing rugby, weighed a little bit more, had a bit less fat. Um, but basically you were a 25 year old lad, weight training, um, playing sport, martial arts, that sort of thing. And I was doing some good mornings um, and I felt some pain in my back. Um, basically that pain never went away, it only got worse. Uh, fobbed off by doctors for years and um, basically got to the point where I had to really put the pressure on to get an MRI scan, um, which I finally got at 27. So two years later, as this got progressively worse, I had to give up rugby, had to give up weight training, had to give up martial arts, give up a lot of what I wanted to do. At one point, all I could do really was swimming, and I was told to try Pilates, but at the time I wasn't ready. Um, so basically at 27, I had the MRI scan, and it turned out my lower back, S1L5, um, was in a condition of a 50 year old manual labourer, uh, which isn't good news at 27. Um, and obviously then maybe a bit of a mental aspect as well, but it got worse and worse and worse to the point where at 28, um, in 29, I was having to sit down to put my boxer shorts on some days. Uh, sneezing was a real problem. I'd go into panic mode, I'd have to brace myself um, and that sort of thing. Training had been out the window for a little while. I couldn't even do the upper body stuff I wanted to because I couldn't move the weights around or get them weights off the rack. It was really, really bad. Um, I was pretty depressed about it all. Um, and 30 was looming. I genuinely believed I'd have a blue badge. I'd always had a clerical job. I'd been in insurance and sales uh, at this point. Most recently, I was um, business development manager for insurance broker. It was a job I'd always wanted, but it had me in the car, 30,000 miles a year, sitting down at a desk all the time as well, which all contributes to, uh, to the pain. So basically, uh, about 30, um, or just before my 30th, I started finally committed to Pilates, having tried various teachers and struggled because some approaches are a little bit floaty, fluffy. Um, some of them have got really odd movements that as a guy I just don't have the coordination for, or maybe some women don't have that coordination either, I'm not sure. Um, but almost like dance-like moves, and I just couldn't get on with it. And then finally I found my teacher, who's still one of the two teachers that I see today. I still go to an instructor, even though I am one myself. And uh, they have this technical modern approach. It's all slow, controlled, repetitive exercise, focusing on dysfunction in the body and rebalancing that. Uh, and it just clicked with me with all of what I was used to with training. Um, and within a year of doing this, in, at 31 and a bit, I went back to playing rugby. Um, I got back to deadlifts, I got back to squats. Having not been able to do those things for almost five years, uh, I went back to being able to do these. Now, I'm not going to ever be able to do heavy deads, heavy squats like I used to, because I still have. Uh, a problem with my back but the point is I can do these to a moderate weight um, probably up to about 120 deads 120 squats which, which is the max I'm ever going to do but I can do them I feel good for it I feel strong so basically because it had such an impact on me I quit my 14 year career in insurance sales became a Pilates teacher the plan was to phase it but it just went really well and I just became a full-time Pilates teacher uh, in August since then picked up a rugby injury we've got coronavirus hence the weave um, so it's all going on it's been very interesting but still doing what I do so I offer one-to-one -one sessions I offer group classes I'm based in Gloucestershire right across Gloucestershire I offer online sessions nationally or internationally even um, and I also offer talks to businesses on the adverse effects of sitting down all the time which is hugely bad for the body and ultimately it boils down to moving more but I offer talks to businesses employees about the negative impacts of sitting down and what you can do about those impacts as well um, so if you want to find out more about me follow my Facebook Pilates guy uh, Instagram Pilates guy underscore one LinkedIn I'm Russell Jones Walker um, and I'm not on Twitter yet, so we'll, we'll see about that. But uh, any questions, please reach out to me. Uh, it'd be good to speak to anybody else going through the same problems as well. Okay, thanks very much for listening. I hope that's useful and speak to you again soon.